Right, so painting with Angelus paint, if you're painting directly on leather, you don't need to mix it with anything if you're using a paintbrush, right? If you were to use an airbrush, you would mix it with a little bit of too thin, and not by much either, just enough to make it spray well. Um, Angelus paint by itself is just ready to paint out of the bottle. So to get the best effect, give it a little shake and make sure it's good to go. Now, to not overdo it, which you can overdo, is just take a little bit of paint onto your brush. Right? You don't need too much, just a little bit, not globbing it on. Right? And say here is your shoe and the outside seam, you would want to start from the middle. You see that big blob there? I want to spread it as thin as I can, as much as I can, and I will spread outwards towards the seams. And it's not going to look pretty for the first layer, maybe second layer, third layer, but you will spread it out. Okay. Get it as thin as you can. It will be very translucent. You want to try to avoid any uh, brush strokes as much as you can. If you see more pigment on a certain spot, just try and spread it out even more. Make it as even as you can. Now when this first layer dries, it's going to look ugly. Okay. So do that first layer and let it dry for about 15 minutes or so. Once you get onto your second layer, it might still look ugly, but it should thicken up the pigment just a little bit more. If you let it dry in between, the brush strokes won't be there, and it'll have a th kind of a thicker pigment. Alright. But you don't want to do the second layer when it's still wet. You really do want to give it a lot of drying time, and you don't want to glob it along the seam line. Like you don't want the stitches here to get covered up by too much paint because when you start hitting corners it will actually pull more paint onto that corner and kind of glob up and get stuck in between the laces. So you want to do your best to start from the middle, push outwards, and spread. Now normally you will not be able to do that in just one layer. It's going to have to be one, two, three, four layers depending on how much pigment the paint has. So like your whites and your blacks will probably take less layers, but your yellows, those sort of things, will take up a lot of layers. You can see as it starts to dry, it seems to spread better and get better coverage as you go while not putting too much paint on. Okay. And once you're finished completely with your layers, again give them 15 minutes in between to dry spread thin, then when you're all done give it maybe another hour to dry with all your other layers before you start going on to your colors. You know, I hope that helps.